with guest meeting join, Teams rooms can join meetings from WebEx and Zoom. So how do we get that set up? Here we see the invite at the top, Team Weaver All Hands, does not have a join button. And this is a WebEx meeting. When you click on it, it says this isn't a Teams or Skype meeting, which is correct. So how do we get this to get a join button like a Teams meeting? The first thing we have to do to enable guest join is to make sure that our calendar processing for the resource account is set correctly. Now those values are defined at aka.ms slash mtr guest join. If you go to that URL, that takes you to the docs article around guest join. But let's uh, let's go through that. Let's see how we can look at that. So first I'm gonna to connect to Exchange Online. Now that we're connected to Exchange Online, let's see the values that we already have on this resource account. So our account MTR STP Avanti 2. So we need to see process external meeting messages, delete comments, and delete subject, what the values are. Process external meeting messages means that we will now accept meeting invites outside of our domain. So my domain is teamsroomslab.com. This means I will now accept meeting invites that come from webex.com, zoom.com, and anywhere else.com. So anyone can send me meeting invites. Now, if you want to limit that, you can probably do things with uh, exchange rules to limit it just to WebEx or just to Zoom. But for our, our purposes, this is good enough. Now, these values are correct. So delete comments basically means do not delete the body of the email or the uh, meeting invite and delete subject is keep that subject the same. So those are the things we're looking at to determine if it is a third party meeting join. Now, if we, do, if we did need to reset these values, we could just run this set calendar processing commandlet and then pass process external meetings to be true, delete comments to be false, and delete subject to be false. So this is the first thing you have to do for guest join. Make sure these values are set this way on your resource account. Now that we've verified that our resource account is set correctly, we need to enable a setting on our Teams rooms. So let's go to more, click settings and then sign in. And now that we're signed in, we go to meetings and then here, third party meetings. Currently we only support WebEx, Zoom will be coming shortly. So we do that, click save and exit. And now this may reboot the Teams rooms. So after the reboot, we'll come back. Now that my Teams rooms has rebooted, we can see that that first meeting now has the join button. It's all lit up in Cisco blue and we could now join that meeting. Thing to note is that you can join both, uh, web, you can join meetings that are created with the free WebEx as well as the paid commercial version of WebEx. Both of those will show up as a join from Teams Rooms. So there you have it, how to configure Teams Rooms to join third-party meetings and specifically, in this case, Cisco.